Okay, you guys are here because you want to run your Raspberry Pi 4 off an SSD drive or a USB flash drive, and there is a good reason for that. Uh, MicroSD card is kind of the weakest link in the Raspberry Pi. Um, I, I understand why they have it instead of um, like an eMMC storage or an SSD. I mean, it's a $35 or now $55 board if you're going with a four gigabyte version. Um, you know, it's a, it's a cost savings measure. Uh, but if you look at this benchmarks real quick, you can see that the micro SD card is probably on average about five times uh, slower than almost anything else um, on this chart. So I'll go through these benchmarks at the end of the video, uh, but let's get back into the tutorial. Okay, guys, follow me and I will show you how to move your Raspbian OS to a USB flash drive or an SSD in three easy steps. Make sure you have your device already plugged in. Um, I'm using a Samsung Fit Plus 128GB uh, USB flash drive. Uh, that's what you can see on my desktop. So plug yours in. So whatever you're using, if you're using an SSD, just plug it in now. And then let's start. All right, guys, uh, click on the Raspberry in the top left corner. Um, go to Accessories, SD card copier. Uh, click on that. Um, copy from device. Uh, select uh, your micro SD card. Um, in the copy to device, uh, select your SSD drive or the flash drive. Check off new partition UIDs and click start. And then click yes after it asks you, are you sure? I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. So this may take uh, a couple minutes or more depending on what uh, you're using. And we're done. All right, close the SD copier wizard. So this is step two. Uh, let's open our command prompt. Uh, type in sudo blkid. Um, what it does is it shows you a list of devices or st rather a list of storage devices attached to your system. Um, uh, let's open one more command prompt, just another window below. And let's type in sudo nano slash boot slash cmd line dot txt. This will show you the boot device. Um, which you can see, uh, and we want to replace it with the SSD device. Um, so look at our um, window above. So you can see that there's a micro SD card and there's a, a flash drive attached to it. So we need to take the uh, ID of the flash drive and insert it into our CMD line.txt. So let's select that UID that you see at the very end. Um, that's our flash drive right here. Let's copy it. Um, you can right click and then copy. And then in your, uh, and then in your window below, just use your cursor to go to the um, UUID um, in the, on this first line, delete it, right click, and click paste. So to save this file, press Control X. Uh, it will prompt you to whether you want to save the changes. Hit Y and then Enter. That's it, this step is done. So let's reboot. All right, and uh, Raspberry Pi is back up. So let's just proceed with the final step. This is step three. We're almost done. I open the command prompt. Uh, let's run our blkid command again. So type in sudo blkid. Open one more window. Uh, just another command prompt. Open another command prompt. Uh, we're going to edit the fstab uh, file. Type in sudo nano slash etc slash fs tab. Uh, 
All right, let's edit the boot device. So right now we show it's an SSD, so we still have an SD. We still have to use the micro SD card. So let's uh, get that ID of the micro SD card um, above. So that's the very first item you see there. Um, copy, right click, copy. Use your keyboard and not your mouse cursor. Um, go to the um, part UUID and, sub and paste the value from above. Right click, paste, control X to save, and press Y to continue. And you're done. Now just reboot the machine and you'll be running off of your uh, SSD or USB drive. Um, all right, before we dive into the benchmarks, I wanted to show you the actual devices that I tested. Um, I actually had them plugged in into Raspberry Pi, so these are not just some artificial uh, tests. So those are the actual um, benchmarks coming off for the Raspberry Pi. So I have a M SATA drive, NVMe drive M.2. Um, I then have a micro SD card. And I also have a 128 gig um, USB flash drive. Um, this is something that I picked up recently. And I think this is actually what I'm going to end up using with my Raspberry Pi 4 just due to the form factor. All right, onto the benchmarks. As you can see, the micro SD card on the very left performed the worst, uh, but that was expected. Uh, I'm not crazy about using the micro SD card to begin with, so that's the whole reason for this tutorial. Um, it's not reliable, and then just for long-term storage, it's just not uh, great. Um, the M SATA drive was great, um, as you can see. The it's uh, several times faster than the micro SD card. Um, it's just an older. Uh, type of technology at this point. So you have uh, M.2, which you can see is much faster, uh, and the form factor is similar. Um, the Samsung uh, USB drive did better than I expected. So you, you can see it actually performed better reads than the M SATA. Um, it's doing 210 megabyte uh, per second reads. And then the M.2 drive obviously performed the best. Uh, you can see 300, over 300 megabyte per second reads and uh, 249 megabyte per second writes. Um, I also did the 4K random reads and random writes. So you have the data. I'm planning to use the USB flash drive um, with my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, just because of the form factor and also uh, as you can see, it didn't do too bad overall. Uh, it's much faster than the micro SD card um, and not far behind the M SATA. It actually has a better read uh, speed uh, versus the M SATA drive, uh, 210 megabyte per second versus 171. Uh, the write speed is slower, uh, but it's still uh, several times faster than the micro SD card and should be more reliable because I think this uh, drive specifically was made to be just plugged in and used as storage. Um, I'll add the link uh, in the description below. Um, so yeah, this is where we are. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. Thank you.